Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Picture House Central in Piccadilly, London. Uh, as you can probably tell by the title of this video, I'm here working with Adobe at the Sundance Film Festival in London. Um, so I love using Adobe products. I pretty much use them day in, day out throughout everything. Uh, so I am super happy to be working with them again on this. They're one of my favorite brands and favorite clients to work with. So it's kind of cool that they've invited me back. Now I've already checked in, got my wristband, um, but we're gonna head upstairs this uh, screening. So this is actually a cinema, by the way, and it's a pretty cool place. Um, so we've got the screenings upstairs and we're gonna go and take part in some of the workshops and um, watch some short films and hopefully get super inspired. I love coming to these types of events. They're, uh, they're always a lot of fun. So today is pretty much all about inspiring and celebrating the film industry. Uh, now Adobe themselves put on quite a few of these events throughout the year. Uh, this one obviously in partnership with Sundance and the Sundance Ignite Fellowship is like a, a huge boost to the creative industry from a very young age. So it offers the chance for young filmmakers to really come on board and get a direct um, almost mentorship and training uh, you know to really kickstart their career and that's something that I'm really passionate about not only that but Adobe themselves they are like I, I kind of describe them as like the flag holder of the creative industry pretty much everything that I do goes through Adobe software so I'm like a huge fanboy of everything that they're making so I'm like pretty excited to be a part of this so there's even some screenings of some films and of course the filmmakers are here today as well uh, and across the whole weekend so we've got Charlotte Regan who we were able to catch up with and just have a quick chat about how she got started in the industry um, you know she's started about seven years ago just making music videos making rap videos and now she's gone into short films um, and a really interesting thing is that it's just following the same principle that so many of us do and that is just making stuff for ourselves and pushing it out so forget about who's watching it for the moment just think about what it is that you are making for yourself make it for you and then everything else follows let's head into the members bar and uh, try and chat with Charlotte and get a couple of questions in I know she's quite busy because she's got screenings as well um, so we'll see uh, if we can at least find out <laughs> what you can do to make yourself stand out when it comes to applying. Whether you're making it on your mobile phone about your nan or your friend Jack, you know, it's yeah. still a film, like no one has to see it. Like mm -hmm. I made about 300 music videos before I did a short film and most of them I would be well embarrassed if anyone yeah. <laughs> ever found them. So you just got to get all like the really shit stuff out to eventually make something yeah. good. People want to jump in and like straight away make like mm -hmm. a an amazing short film and I think it takes like getting a lot of stuff out like even if you watch your videos the old stuff yeah. is so different to yeah. the newer stuff. Well, one thing I always say is like if you're not feeling like your old stuff is terrible then you're not going anywhere. For sure yeah, yeah. no it should be you should look back at it and be embarrassed about yeah. it. Yeah. at this workshop and an interesting thing from my perspective is that I'm pretty much self-taught on everything to do with the software and a lot of the times I'm always thinking like do I do I do this the right way is this the most efficient way of doing things um, so seeing it from the perspective of someone who works at Adobe and who you know is on the team that builds the software seeing how they work not only like reaffirmed a lot of my own practices but also sparked a few interests on some things that I should look into particularly with audio editing because I feel like I don't really know what I'm doing with audio a lot of the time um, so that was really insightful speaking of education and um, like learning the software, a really interesting thing that Adobe have done recently, and I actually read this on their blog a couple of weeks ago, they have significantly lowered the cost of the student pricing, um, but also lowered the barrier of entry to both primary and secondary school education. Uh, so traditionally it's always been higher education. So now that means that really young children can have a license for pro grade software via their school that they can use both at home and at school, like, for so cheap it's around four five pounds or so um, per user license uh, if your school buys them in a batch which is generally the case that you know that's how they work and the huge thing with that is it opens up the availability and the accessibility for kids to learn pro grade creative software that is a huge move like that is massive not only is it going to elevate the industry uh, for the future generation but it's also going to elevate our industry because there will be children coming up with skills based off of far more years worth of experience than what we had um, and that is only a good thing so um, so thanks for doing that I'm 
very passionate about that and uh, I love the fact that more people can get creative because of it. All right, it's lunchtime. Let's get some food in. Uh, this cafe downstairs looks pretty tasty. heading off to screen five, which is uh, the Sundance Ignite private screening. So we've just come out of a screening of watching a film called Skate Kitchen. Now, I had no concept of what the film was going to be. I didn't even know how long it was going to be, um, but I did thoroughly enjoy it. And uh, it's kind of like a whole documentation of sort of like late teen life amongst a group of girls who are passionate about skateboarding in New York. Um, there was a few things that I took away from it. One, it was beautifully shot. It was so naturally done. They're not even like actresses, they are skaters. And uh, it's kind of like documenting their real life in film. So that just shows like the level of filming that you can get from that. Um, and you know, if you do want to apply into the Sundance Ignite, the application's open, I believe it's middle of August. Um, and I think they get a lot of applications, uh, but there are 15 places available. Um, and it would be a huge opportunity not to miss. Uh, you just submit a one to eight minute video and you can kind of get your entry in and hopefully kickstart your career with a massive boost. Um, so yeah, go and check out the links to that and likewise go and check out the link to another Adobe site that kind of explains everything together. There's a few tutorials in there, uh, definitely some things that I'll be taking note of with my editing. Uh, and the final thing, because I'm learning so much today, Adobe are also offering a huge discount on your first year of Creator Cloud. So you can get 65% off. That's massive, that's huge. Like I wish I had that when I started. Um, and you can then get access to all of Adobe's creative apps. So yeah, go and check that out. And uh, I look forward to seeing what you guys can make. And I'll see you in the next video. So thanks for watching everyone. Bye bye.